and gentlemen, we're back on the boom. I'm going to try something that is pretty stupid. Don't know if it'll work, but I really want to get that cut straight and a half a circle. I'm going to try to do it like this. I got this centered up. This is the right size. I don't know. Check it for square, but a little success, not much. When you're in a shop by yourself, you have to come up with different ways of holding stuff. My genius knows no bound. I give you ratchet strap. It works perfectly. Got the brackets all cleaned up and I kind of did a rough layout on it and this is pretty much what I come up with so I'm gonna have to modify these because they fit really tight right there but this is half distance of this so this will come down to this far which is plenty good and that'll be like right here almost close to the floor and then it'll have twice that much up so that'd be more than enough to get up there and what have you so what we got to do right now I remember telling y'all, I remember telling y'all that, uh, and I know I don't have them tight, do I? Uh, I might have them a little tight. <clears throat> really? Anyway, I'll get them out of there. But, these are going to go drive up in here these are going to drive up in here 
and uh, he'll stiffen that up. All this will get welded to that. It'll get welded all the way around. So that's the length of tube I'm gonna use right there. I'm gonna have to double this up on both sides to have enough width to clear this. But other than that, let's get to it. And like I said, this piece, I cut it down to go inside this tube so it fits, it will have a nice straight fit. See, it'll straighten itself up. Now, things quite heavy. Then the bearings will go right here. Everything else will go on this. The, uh, I'm cleaning this up because these plates have to be welded on. And we'll weld them on right here. And I'm gonna incorporate everything. I need a little extra width for that right there. So I'm gonna weld these on, clean these up. But I kinda wanna weld these first. And that's probably what I'll do. I don't know, worried about really filling all that in, but I wanna get a weld right here to grind this down. Put these on, and then I'll be good. Right now, I gotta clean all the paint off of that. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this part two up on this thing. You can kind of see where I was going with this and that right there. We also gotta make a slide boom for that to go in and there. We got this tied in and all that. Uh, the bearings are gonna go on here and then they're gonna go on plates. And that's what's gonna swivel it, so you kind of kind of get the idea materialistic weasel in me says don't do this at home this is for entertainment let me do the dumb stuff uh, if this thing fails it'll be totally dumb but you don't get under any load or any kind of lifting mechanism that's lifting a load so and the little harbor freight machine I'm gonna give it a thumbs up it did a it did a good job i can't say anything bad about it uh there's several points where this thing can fail but then again it's where you want it to fail this right here i kind of wanted it right there but i wanted the down but then it still somewhat on there this tube will crush this will come off but it'll be slow but then again, as I say it, don't ever, don't ever do this at home, please. Let me do the dumb stuff here. 
so that's not too fast that's actually pretty good that's a workable speed especially it's going to be on a clicker and uh And that's the angle of up, which will be up there, no problem. It's gonna go on that post right there. I've gotta put a piece in a standoff and get the bearings on and get it up there. Uh, I still gotta do the inner tube on this for a little extra reach because it's not going to reach all the way up here where I want it to. Uh, but yeah, th thank you. Thank you subscribers so much. Uh, Thank you viewers, subscribers, all y'all, y'all rock. That's not that bad. That's very usable speed right there. So we'll see how strong it is. What little data I can get on this thing. I think it's 1800 pounds. If this thing picks up, my weight it'll be a success which i don't think it'll pick me up might be surprised i don't know but uh we'll finish up on it next time next video be the final and who knows i might put a harness on and see if it picks me up <laughs> i don't want to do that my luck the motor will get stuck the relay will get stuck i'll just keep going up to the roof until it collapses and it falls down on my head but that's not the only thing I got to say. My electric bike, I went to build another battery. I said to heck with that, I'm gonna buy a battery. Those things are so expensive. So I said, you know what? I said, let me look at these. I see these motorized bikes running up and down here. They look like they're doing pretty good, about 20, 25, which I got that up to 40. Uh, and next thing I know, I'm buying an 80cc motor, I'm buying a performance piston, ignition, carburetor, uh, motorized bike frame with a built-in gas tank, mag wheels, so that's coming up. We are going to tear the damn motor down before we even crank it up, before it even goes in the bike. We're gonna go ahead and modify it and port it. I already know what they run, you know, stock. So that's coming up. I'm just waiting on the parts to get here and get this out of the way. I'm gonna need this to pick it up and swing it around over here and over there, which I still got the overhead, but the, uh, this will be more out of the way of my light. And uh, it'll be a lot easier to control wireless with a clicker. So that's it guys. Yeah get this out of the way and that's really not like the idea of using one of these got my light on and my 2,000 subscriber Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day.